Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome, and thank you for joining today's webinar. Uh, my name is Jimmy McCollery, and I'm thrilled to help introduce EndNote 2025, the newest, smartest version of EndNote yet. If you've ever wished reference management could feel a little more intuitive, a little more automated, and frankly, just easier, this update is for you. Let's dive in and explore what's new. So what's actually new? In EndNote 2025, you'll see a handful of standout features that bring together AI, automation, and a much more visual experience. We'll look at the new AI-powered research assistant, the ability to cite directly from PDF files, and the Find a Journal feature built into Word Online. You'll also notice a redesigned summary panel, better visibility for sync, and minor but meaningful formatting enhancements like support for in-dashes and output styles. Let's go through these one by one. And we know how much time researchers spend trying to figure out which papers are worth the reading in full. Now, EndNote can help. With the new AI-powered research assistant, you can generate quick, readable summaries of your references right in the summary panel. No need to open the PDF, skim through the abstract, or switch tabs. This is especially helpful when you're triaging large sets of references during a literature review or when you're writing a grant and need to summarize sources efficiently. And because the summaries are AI generated, they're designed to capture the high level takeaway without unnecessary detail. Next up is Find a Journal. This tool helps bridge research and publishing. It's now built directly into Word Online and uses the content of your manuscript to suggest relevant journals. This replaces the standalone manuscript matcher tool and brings journal discovery into your writing workflow. It's handy if you're targeting high impact publications or exploring journals outside your usual scope. And yes, it still draws on Clarivate's journal data, so the suggestions are credible and up to date. Have you ever been reading a PDF, found the perfect quote, and thought, I'll cite this later, only to forget where it came from? With cite from a PDF, that's no longer a problem. You can now highlight text inside any attached PDF, right click and instantly insert both the quote and the citation into your Word doc. The quote gets saved into the record as an annotation and is searchable later. This keeps your research and your writing in sync, literally. We also made a significant usability upgrade to the summary panel. Instead of clicking through tabs or hunting for details, you'll now see everything at a glance, citation info, notes, a preview, and even the AI-generated summary. It's a cleaner, more visual design that keeps you focused on your research, not navigating the interface, and, and it's beneficial when you're managing multiple references at once. And now let's look closer at a feature that brings serious research power into EndNote, our deeper integration with Web of Science. If you're new to Web of Science, it's a leading global citation database trusted by researchers, universities, and publishers. It gives you a structured view of how research connects who's citing whom, how ideas evolve, and where your work fits in the scholarly landscape. In EndNote 2025, we've taken that connection a step further. When you select a reference in your library with a DOI or recognized identifier, you'll see direct options in the summary panel to access citing articles and related records in Web of Science. So why is this a big deal? For newer researchers, it's a faster, more intuitive way to trace the conversation around a paper. You can instantly explore who has cited the article, how it's been used in other fields, or whether it's been built upon in more recent studies. That's incredibly useful for literature reviews, grant applications, or identifying gaps in the research. This is a massive time saver for experienced users, especially those doing systematic reviews or citation mapping. You no longer need to open Web of Science separately, search manually, and bounce between platforms. EndNote becomes the central hub where you manage your references and the context around them. I should mention that full access to Web of Science data still requires a subscription, but this integration is designed to support those who already use it and to help others discover how valuable it can be. In short, EndNote doesn't just store what you've read. It now connects you to the broader research dialogue right from within your library. Let's talk formatting. We know many of you publish in styles like APA, Chicago, or Vancouver, and those styles are picky, especially about things like hyphens versus in dashes. 
fact, with EndNote 2025, you can now choose to display in dashes for page ranges and date spans. This is a small detail, but it keeps your formatting compliant and your style guides happy. If you've ever wondered, is my library actually syncing? Uh, this update is for you. We've added real-time sync status updates to make collaboration smoother and more transparent. You'll know precisely when EndNote is syncing and if anything needs your attention. You can also invite collaborators, assign roles, and share libraries with up to 1,000 users. You'll also see improvements to the Edit tab and a new library status window. The Edit tab has a simpler layout, making updating metadata across multiple references easier. And the library status window gives you a quick overview, like total reference count, sync status, and group usage. It's a nice boost to visibility, especially for power users. To recap, in note 20, 25 is about working smarter, not harder. You're getting automation, AI, and better formatting, all rolled into a tool you use daily. If you manage dozens or even hundreds of sources, these new features can save you hours across a project lifecycle. And the built-in journal and PDF tools will make a real difference for those of you writing or publishing regularly. We've got more webinars in this series, and I'd love to see you there. We'll look deeper at PDF annotation, syncing libraries, group management, and advanced search. If today sparked ideas or questions, the following sessions will help you put everything into practice. If you need help with EndNote at any point, the EndNote Support Hub is your go-to resource. Whether it's an issue you're facing or you have general questions, Clarivate's team of EndNote experts is available 24-7 via chat, email, or phone. Plus, the portal has many resources, including troubleshooting tips, step-by-step -step guides, and frequently asked questions to help you quickly resolve any problems. You can visit the support portal at any time for assistance. As we wrap up, I want to highlight an incredible resource, the EndNote LibGuide. This page is your ultimate guide for mastering EndNote, whether you're just starting or looking to take your skills to the next level. Inside the LibGuide, you'll find on-demand learning materials, including tutorial videos, a live training calendar, and quick reference guides designed to help you make the most out of EndNote. It's a fantastic way to continue your learning at your own pace. You can access the EndNote LibGuide anytime to dive deeper into specific features or revisit topics discussed today. And if you're looking for even more interactive help, check out our training portal for upcoming live sessions. Remember, EndNote isn't just about managing references. It's about making your research process more efficient and organized. So explore these resources and don't hesitate to contact us if you need assistance. We look forward to seeing you again in our future sessions. Keep referencing like a pro and let EndNote help you every step of the way. Thanks again for joining us today. We're excited about where EndNote is headed and even more excited to help you get the most from it. Until next time, happy researching, and we'll see you in the next webinar.